Fox leaks flooded homes. Tonight, Channel 2 investigates a messy, expensive problem from homeowners across our Houston area. I wanted other people to know that this is a, a potential problem and a time bomb in their house. That time bomb, toilets spontaneously failing, causing thousands of dollars in damage. Channel 2 Investigates has learned the manufacturer knows about these problems, but isn't warning homeowners. Amy Davis reveals the signs of trouble and what to do about it. House to house and door to door. We're with KPRC Channel 2. We dropped in on homeowners in the Stonebridge subdivision in Pearland with a strange request. Do you mind if we come inside and look at what kind of toilet you have? We'd like to check your toilet. Okay. <laughs> when they escorted us in, I know this is weird. We checked their toilet tanks. Yes. And discovered a potential disaster. V O R T E N S. And it's made in Mexico, so that kind has, has been cracking in people's houses and flooding their homes. I've been doing this nearly 30 years, and I've never seen any toilet fail like this. General contractor Mike Teeple installed two Vorton's toilets in this Copperfield home in 2013. When one of the tanks cracked a few months later, he thought it was odd. When the second one cracked in an upstairs bathroom, flooding the home, or it's just this waterfall, he was more than skeptical. Toilets don't fail like that. They don't crack for no reason. But Channel 2 investigates found these Vorton's toilets cracking in homes from the woodlands to Pearland, Copperfield to Garden Oaks. Teeple blogged about the problem and he received some two complaints a week about the toilets cracking across the country. I've had emails from Tennessee, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, and then all throughout the Houston area. Since the water was leaking from the tank, the, the toilet just kept running and running and running. Amy Etchberger was at work when her tank cracked. Her in-laws who were staying at her house noticed the leak. It was just coming out and just dripping down to the bottom. They shut off the water, avoiding major damage. But Etchberger has hit a dam, so to speak, trying to get her home builder or Vorton's to replace this toilet and the three other Vorton's toilets in her home. I think they should take care of it. It's not my um, mistreatment of the product, it's a faulty product on their part, and I think they should take responsibility. No one from Vorton's would return our calls about this issue, but a spokesperson sent this email that reads in part, some tanks manufactured in 2011, mainly model numbers 3464 and 3412, may have been affected by certain technical issues that allegedly caused fractures. All claims received by Vortons to date have been addressed by Vortons to the satisfaction of our customers. They know they're going to fail. I mean, they have to know that. An Alt's cracked toilet caused more than $20,000 in damage. Vortons only agreed to pay her $4,300 deductible after we called them almost two and a half years after the incident. And they need to recall anybody who still has one of those toilets. That Vorton's representative wouldn't answer when I asked him why the company doesn't issue a recall, but we can tell you they've settled several lawsuits and paid damages when homeowners or their insurance companies have sued them. If you have one of these Vorton's toilets in your home and would like to replace it, a Texas consumer attorney says your best bet to get Vorton's to foot that bill is to take them to small claims court. We'll walk you through how to do that tomorrow morning on KPRC Channel 2 News at 5 a.m. I'm consumer expert Amy Davis, KPRC Channel 2 News.